Hi everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today for this week's Friday Haul. It's Friday, December 30th. I hope you guys are doing well and that you had a very Merry Christmas if you were celebrating. Uh, everything was very nice here. I had family come in, I think I mentioned from Saturday to Tuesday. So it was really, really busy, but really fun. My sister and her family came and my dad and my stepmom came as well. We just uh, enjoyed playing games together, and of course we exchanged gifts and um, had lots of good food and stuff. So for the past few days, I've been trying to, you know, get the house back in order, have a ton of laundry to do, and um, we picked up our new car as well, which we had ordered back in August. So it finally came in. And so, yeah, it's been busy and very nice. So. I'm glad to be back. I haven't been crafting at all in the past week, which seems really strange, and I'm looking forward to doing some today. Um, I got a design team package from KS Craft in the mail today for uh, the, I guess it's the December release. And um, I got some other dies in the mail too that I'll show you. So let's get started. First, I want to show you this really pretty card that my friend Anna sent me, Anna White. Thank you so much, Anna. How beautiful is this? I just got this in the mail today and it's so nice and wintry. I love it. It's got um, this beautiful stamp and it's got a snowman that Anna colored so perfectly. And you, you guys all know Anna. She's just an incredible artist and uh, stamp designer, die designer, just a really sweet person. And I'm so glad I've gotten to know you, Anna, on our channels and just by, you know, sharing some craft videos with each other. And it's been, it's been so nice to be inspired by your work, which I have been all year long. So to get a, a a card that you made is just really thrilling for me. So thank you so much. It's beautiful. I love how you did the the cutouts on the corners of the of the uh, stamped image, and this is stamped on some really pretty like linen-y paper. I don't know if you could see it, but it's beautifully textured. And then the backing piece is this yellow print. I'm not sure if that's snow and cocoa. Maybe it is, but I, I think the one in the back is snow and cocoa, right? I don't know, maybe it's not, but it looks like it. And then you did your tracing wheel faux emboss or faux stitching on the edges, which I learned from you, and that's why I do it too. And this piece of um, trim is so cute. It's it's like yarn, but it's um, kind of like, um, it's hard to describe, but you can see it's got like little kind of pom-poms on it. And then you tied it here and sewed a button on, a pretty purple button. What a pretty wintry card. And I love the glitter that you added to for snow. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I'm going to keep it out all winter long. And she wrote me a nice note on the inside. And then there are these tabs with the same papers and um, burr that you colored with ombre alcohol markers. And then it says designed and stamped by Anna 2022. Thank you so much, Anna. I love it. It's beautiful. What a nice surprise to get in the mail today. So I'll leave that right here so we could see it. All right, um, I got an order in from Surprise Creation. I haven't ordered from them in a long time, but um, I needed some new like uh, square and rectangle nesting die sets. I have a few that I like, but um, sometimes I need ones that are a little bit bigger than the ones that I have, and it's nice to have different patterns as well. So that's what I got. So the first set I got is called the five by seven double sewing set. And so this comes with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces, and they're all nesting uh, rectangles. And if you could see the stitching lines, uh, it looks like it was sewn, and it kind of like crosses over each other, and then crosses over on the long side as well. So I think this will be really nice to add to my, my projects, especially cards. And it's nice to have a five by seven uh, die as well. Um, I have one in my stash of five by seven square, so I definitely needed more uh, more variety for that. So I think these uh, nesting dies are well worth it. This was actually let me look what I wrote down um, five fifty nine for this set, which is great. And surprise creation. Uh, if you have never ordered from them before, they do wonderful nesting die sets and big ones too, like this. So I've gotten them in the past, so I figured it was time to uh, try some new ones out. So obviously I have not, or I don't know if it's obvious, I have not been able to test them out yet, but I will do that soon and show you. 
So that's the first one I got. The next one is called the Stitch Squares. So it comes with these huge, well, the outer one is huge. So there's, let's say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different dies. And these are the squares that have stitching on the inside of the die cut and then on the outside too. So you can make the outside a frame as if you want to. Now this, the largest square is probably won't fit a normal die cutting machine. It's uh, seven and, let's say about seven and three eighths inches long. So yeah, you'll have to use that one in a large format die cutting machine. And then the one below that is uh, a little over six and a half. So that one might not fit either. But I know before I had my Big Shot Plus, I would get, you know, die sets this way, this size anyway, and just not use the outer sizes. It's not often you would use a square that big anyway. The, the smaller ones are what you would normally use. And this set was 878. So it's still worth it, even if you don't use the two outer ones. But if you do have a large die cutting machine and uh, you need a large square, then it's perfect for that. But mostly I got it for the smaller uh, set. And I do have some square dies, but nothing with, these, with this variety of sizes with stitching. So I'm looking forward to using this. So definitely a good um, investment and it's not too expensive either. And then I picked up while I was ordering the buttons set. So this comes with a large assortment of different button dies. So it comes with this big circle and this one is, whoops, this one from cut line to cut line. It's uh, not even three inches, maybe two and seven eighth inches. So, and it cuts out the circles in the middle. So that'll be fun. I thought this would be a great like background and then you could tie like ribbon or something through there, thread. And then it comes with a big heart too. This will be great for Valentine's Day. This one's about three inches as well, a little bit, um, little bit wider. And then it comes with um, two different circles, one with four holes and one with two. And those are um, just about two inches across from cut line to cut line. So good to have as well. And then a smaller heart, a smaller circle, another two smaller circles, an even smaller heart, a teeny heart, which will be great for like to look like actual buttons, and then a couple more circles. So I think this will be very versatile to have as well. I love buttons. Sometimes it's nice to be able to cut them out of paper though because it makes them easier to mail and you can also use any color or pattern that you want in your paper. So that's what I got from Surprise Creation and uh, I was glad to uh, you know, get all these into my stash. All right, uh, let's move on. I got a digital paper pack from Etsy. This one is called Gingerbread Easter and it's from the shop called Dandelionary, and I'll link it down below. It was on sale for $2 for all of these images that I'm gonna show you. I think it's still currently on sale. If it's not, um, just wait because it goes on sale frequently. So I thought $2 was great. It's about a six by six image, and but of course you can resize it depending on your printer and program that you use but i printed it out six by six and i printed it on 80 pound white paper so i wanted to show you the images that it came with just in case you're interested so this is the first page and it has like little um I guess it's gingerbread, but it looks like sugar cookies to me. A little bunny face, a tulip, and a uh, Easter egg. And then there are florals in the background too. And this is like pink and kind of a bright blue and a little bit of an orange and some cream as well. So I thought it was very neat to have like a cookie Easter theme. This is the next page and it's got a light yellow background. Again, with the cookies, it's got a chicken, this one, the bunny with the little cottontail butt and then a couple more tulips and then just some florals around it as well. So super pretty, right? And then this is another page that it comes with and this is just kind of like an accent page. It's green with little, well, it's kind of hard to see, sorry, with little green like, um, you know, pieces of grass. And then the next one is the same, but this one is pink. So like pink Easter grass. And then this one, is it's got the pink Easter grass, but then it has like this border of uh, the different cookies. 
So I think this will be fun for some like Easter baking projects. And Easter is coming up soon, you know, in the crafty world anyway. This is like that first page and this is pink with the different eggs and um, bunnies and tulips. I guess it's not really exactly like the first page, but similar. They're all similar. And then, okay, so these are very similar, except this one's white and this one's pink for the background. And then there's this page with a little bit smaller print with the different cookies and a green background. And there's a little bit of like green polka dot in there as well, if you could see. Maybe not polka dots, but just like splatters kind of. And then this one I thought was so cute. It's got like a pink gingham for the background and then the different cookies and florals on top of that. And then this one has a white background with like a, um, a kind of a transparent blue leaf print and the different cookies. And then the same one, but in green for the background, you can see the difference. And then, was this the first page? I think that was the first page, let me see, yeah. Yep, that was the first page. So all of these pages for $2, that was a great deal. One, two, three, I think it's like 12. I think it's 12. I won't go through the trouble of counting it right now, but um, yep, I'll link that below in case you are interested. Just some fun, you know, Easter paper to get. There's a new line coming out by Photoplay and it's called, um, I think it's Bunnies and Blooms, which is like the same name of a paper line that came out last year. I think it was like Echo Park or something, but um, this is Photoplay and it's really cute. Look on um, scrapbook.com for upcoming and I'm waiting for that to come in too. But it's nice to just have some right away when you need to do some like springtime crafting. And I think the dye, the dye package I just got from KS Craft has some spring dyes in it. So perfect timing. All right, let's move on. Um, I went to Home Goods. Let's see, I went earlier this week just to see if that any new Valentine's stuff out. I didn't really see that much. They did have some Christmas clearance. So I picked this up, this cute little gingerbread rolling pin and it was on clearance for $4, which was, I think it was $6.99 before, if that's, if I can read under that price tag. So I wouldn't pay $6.99, but $4 I think is a good price. And I thought this would be perfect for one of my gingerbread buckets for next year. It's just so cute. Um, I guess, you know, you could totally use it to cut out cookies, but I'll use it for a gingerbread bucket. So that's all I got from Home Goods. Um, from Walmart, I went there to look at their Christmas clearance too. I picked up this little spatula. This was on sale for 98 cents, which was half price. And then I got a couple rolls of wrapping paper for next year. And I thought these were so cute. This one has the gingerbread houses on it. And the normal price was $5.98 and it was $2.99, I think. And then this paper too with the hot cocoa mugs and the candy canes, some candy canes and hearts there. And this was um, the same price. So I like to get wrapping paper right after Christmas and save it for next year if it's cute. So I went to Target too with my sister and uh, they had, we went the day after Christmas in the morning and they had like nothing left. I don't know if they started out with stuff earlier in that morning and people just cleared them out or there just wasn't much left, but we didn't get any Christmas clearance. So, all right, let's go on to, I have one more thing to share with you today. Um, I got a gift. This, well, this one I had had, this was the uh, Jingle All The Way book that I had shown you guys and I made a couple of like um, little gingerbread pillows like this one and then I made these two from this book. So I asked for a book by the same author but for her everyday um, little pillows. So my son got me that for Christmas and this is it. It's called Bowl Me Over and it's by uh, Debbie Busby. So this comes with patterns for all of these different um, little bowl fillers. So um, this will be nice to do like in the summertime and stuff. Just like really cute. Look at that one. So if you'd like to sew or you're just starting to get into embroidery, these are small projects that um, are easy to do. Like this will not take much to do, this love banner. And you could totally make that for, um, you know, in a Valentine palette. I thought that would be fun. And it's got all these little, like, oh, these are so cute. They look like little chalkboards. Yeah, chalk talk, right? 
And then there's a whole bee themed um, section, which is fun. And I think these make great gifts. So I was glad to get this. I can't wait to start making these. And other gifts I got, um, I got a whole bunch of coffee and um, I got some more like ornaments and I got pajamas and some jewelry and like body care stuff, just really nice stuff. And of course my car, which was the big thing. But um, we get a car, well, I get a car like every 10 years. So uh, my last one was a 2013. So now it's a 2023. So I'm so happy to have that. And um, of course, it was so nice to spend time with my family. And now I'm going to keep my Christmas decorations up until after New Year's, which I usually do, and just enjoy them while I can and don't have to rush around or anything. So yeah, let me know. Uh, let me know how you're doing. How was your Christmas? How was your holiday? Um, do you keep your Christmas decorations up? I know a lot of people take them down right after Christmas, which I could see the benefit of that, just having a clean slate and everything, but I just keep mine up. So yeah, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed my video. Let me know what you think. And I'm looking forward to doing some crafting today. I'll be back soon with the KS Craft Project share and uh, yeah, hopefully some more crafty videos. So thanks again for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Uh, have a great weekend. Bye.